Hi everyone, uh, Professor Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, our main subject today is about uh, a solar uh, absorption system with uh, a lithium bromide, uh, water lithium bromide uh, cycle, absorption cycle, uh, by the assistance of uh, a fl solar flip-lit uh, collector. First of all, open. Uh, don't open your model from the desktop, just open your MATLAB browser and uh, go to your destination folder from here, from this uh, from this path. Okay, this is my drive, my working folder, so I, I copied my, my, my model folder after extraction to my working folder and going to my model folder and uh, select my uh, model folder. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, this is performance model, no, not a design model, so uh, the area is kept known and click here in order to sort by name and to uh, group by type so you will find your model here okay we have dynamic model and uh, this is my my model so just double clicking and uh, this is a simulink file here function file this this function file is not working okay um, you have to uh, uh, disband this okay uh, and uh, neglect this uh, f function file please okay now we have our model okay this is our main cycle we have a solar flip simple cycle um, solar flip collector um, is going to deliver its uh, thermal power or heat to the generator and the generator uh, to, uh, generator will responsible for uh, uh, thermal power uh, uh, production Uh, let's go for this is for uh, I think this is for air conditioning. Oh, let's go inside here. Okay, we have here uh, the main cycle components solar uh, collector. We have to assign some inputs uh, generator, uh, condenser, uh, evaporator, absorber, heat exchanger, and we have here performance in or performance block in order to measure uh, some uh, parameters such as uh, COP. And this is fan cooler for air conditioning. Let's begin from here. Uh, we have to assign some uh, parameters. In uh, absorber unit, we need to assign uh, absorber temperature. Normally, based on my experience and based on my previous uh, research articles in, in, in that uh, regard, you have to assign it between uh, 30 and uh, 35, 36, something like this. Okay, and we have here for heat exchanger, we just need effectiveness. I will keep it as, keep it at um, 80% for generator. We don't need to assign anything here. For condenser, we need condensation temperature, 40, 45, something like this. And for uh, evaporator, we need, uh, what is your evaporator temperature? Um, because this is water less impermeable, so I, I uh, is, we are talking about 7 uh, degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius, something like this. Okay, and for absorber, okay. This is cooler unit. What is your ambient temperature? Okay, and only total air temperature. We need to cool down this air temperature. So we have here uh, inlet and outlet. This is my target. This is my target temperature. So I need to control this one um, it's, this is your controller you you would like to uh, adjust your air cooler to 15 degrees Celsius 10 degrees it's up to your uh, design suppose it's 15 degrees Celsius and um, the, um, the the temperature is about uh, 75 degrees Celsius what is your best flow rate of your, you can control the fan speed this is your fan speed okay air duct diameter uh, fan efficiency okay that's all for for this one okay for solar collector we need to adjust what is your solar radiation suppose i'm working on a single point uh, uh, results suppose it's ab about uh, 900 degrees Celsius. what is your wind speed for losses thermal losses ambient temperature Elite cooling water to elite collector temperature okay and uh, what is your uh, mass flow rate through the solar collector uh, collector area uh, number of glass cover tilt angle glass cover emittance 
you have to refer to our previous videos about Philippe solar collector uh, bottom losses, edge losses, uh, tube uh, tube diameter, uh, plate thickness, tube spacing. It's about your uh, selection. You have to select you and uh, adjust your uh, operating conditions and design parameters for your uh, plate, plate FBC flat collector to get your uh, desired uh, outlet temperature if you'd like. Now I set your simulation time into zero and you can click here on uh, model explorer and in order to send your result click here for example absorber and absorber absorber unit you can select your parameter and click description and save you have to check this one save final value to workspace and okay let's go for flap lead for example okay flap lead collector and uh, let's go for uh, uh, for example, bumping power, uh, volume, plate temperature, outlet temperature, save final value, mean plate temperature, useful energy, storage energy, uh, thermal losses, overall heat uh, transfer coefficient, fin factor uh, efficiency, flow factor, fin efficiency, and so on. Thermal power area, collector area. You can save these values if you would like. Uh, from here uh, so you you will find this uh, uh, you'll find after running your model you will find your outputs uh, contained here in your uh, workspace here let's hit back here and s saving let's hit run and see after this operating adjusting this operating conditions we need to uh, serve our results let's go inside let's begin from the absorber absorber okay unit so this is uh, pressure, uh, absorber pressure, and in Salby outlet, uh, concentration uh, uh, of uh, going to the heat exchanger, and this is mass flow rate for strong uh, component, weak component, mass flow rate, uh, absorber power, okay? And concentration flow from the generator to, this is, these are your inputs and these are your outputs, and as you can see here this is from absorber to heat exchanger uh, don't forget to select your stream and click here to send it to data inspector we need to send our result to data for example this is in salby i have to click here you can click on this signal or just to click on this uh, data inspector and select uh, signals to data inspector and click here so you'll be able to uh, send it to data inspector as well uh, this this um, uh, uh, um, technique of getting your result uh, would be more helpful in, in case you are going to select or working on dynamic model uh, i will show you later okay let's go for heat exchanger uh, in salby uh, temperature uh, outlet temperature to the absorber okay and these are your inputs okay and let's go for the generator okay uh, this is generator uh, efficiency effectiveness uh, pressure concentration uh, and salby uh, power and so on condenser the same okay pressure uh, and salby temperature power thermal power okay evaporator okay and uh, a fan cooler okay this is cool cooling unit this is your load this is your cooling load if you increase your mass mass flow rate surely you will increase the load so the system will consume uh, more thermal power this is flappily collector uh, bumping power uh, volume of if in case you are going to use uh, uh, storage volume or storage tank uh, plate temperature, outlet collector temperature, mean plate temperature, thermal useful energy, storage energy, uh, heat removal factor, efficiency factor, fin efficiency, uh, flow factor, uh, collector efficiency is about 73%. Uh, at this point, at this point, of course, uh, performance, let's go for this is your COP, maximum allowable COP and really uh, uh, relative performance ratio 
do remember that you can double click on your uh, uh, any block of this and you can con these are your uh, output function function name and these are your um, your inputs okay uh, so you can control or edit your uh, model okay let's go for if you uh, in case I, I would like to extract my results um, for somehow under some circumstances let's go for this one uh, dynamic modeling or uh, uh, sample time modeling okay so suppose I have a, um, a changeable chain for let it be uh, the load on uh, uh, from the fan cooler I would like to change this temperature so I uh, suppose I have uh, I I would like to adjust my simulation time between 8 morning and afternoon okay so I, I adjust my simulation time and I would like to control some parameters let's begin from a uh, flat belly collector uh, I would like to adjust my solar radiation and wind speed so I have to remove solar radiation block from this one let's go refer to the previous one this is zero time limit uh, 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 model I'm sorry with collector yes from here uh, as you will, you will realize that this is a block for solar radiation and wind speed. Suppose I would like to change this with uh, in dynamic mode or when with respect to the time variation along the day. So I have to replace this. So I will go here and replacing these blocks and giving them comments. Uh, I, I will comment it. Yes, comment out. Okay. So this is my uh, signal builder block. You have to. Uh, create your signal imagining that the signal should be like this and let's go for sources uh, signal builder so I will drag it you have to refer our to our previous models about uh, previous videos about this one signal builder okay so I, I can create my signal uh, I can create my signal adding points okay and uh, I can create and control my uh, signal okay so i can um, uh, imagine this is uh, my uh, solar radiation along the day or wind speed along the day okay and and even i can name the signal but you have to adjust your time it is from 8 to 17 afternoon 8 morning so you will and the power you can control the power uh, of your solar radiation okay so I prepared that before uh, I prepared that so there's no meaning to uh, continue with this one so this is my solar radiation I, I created this as you can see here I imagine that this is my solar radiation along the day okay so behaving like this one from morning to afternoon something like this okay and I, I would like to examine as a performance of my system uh, under uh, such uh, operating conditions okay this is my solar radiation saving closing this one and when the speed uh, it, it might be fluctuating along the day rising up and down this is so windy speed okay so and early cooling water temperature let it be uh, varying okay along the day okay so I have uh, I think there's nothing else here. Okay, let's go for the fan. Um, of course, you can control many parameters. It's up to your design. A cooling air temperature, inlet and outlet. So suppose I have something like this. I have an inlet air temperature along the day. Okay, uh, let's increase it a little bit. Uh, at, the, uh, at the middle of the day, you can... Uh, air temperature is high and suppose and this is my controller uh, for this is desired outlet air temperature that I would like to adopt okay so I'm saving closing and ambient temperature suppose I have this variation of your ambient temperature along the day um, okay surely you can control many parameters okay within this time range from 8 uh, to 17 after uh, noon okay eight morning to 17 afternoon okay uh, five afternoon at uh, 5 pm okay saving your uh, model be sure that your uh, to send your result to data inspector as you can see here 
this small square is visualize your result or the desired signal to let the inspector saving hit run and we have to wait okay okay it finished let's go here data inspector and so we can uh, withdraw some results it's up to you uh, suppose I have uh, let's go for this is power collect uh, bombing power uh, efficiency factor no change fin efficiency slightly change here we can uh, adjust our limits from zero of or from uh, 0 0.7 to 1 for example or okay let it be 0 0.9 0 0.9 okay okay so this is fin efficiency flow factor yes changing yes the same collector efficiency yes slightly change let it be from 0 0.6 okay and uh, cop uh, is there yes cop maximum cop okay uh, pressure uh, absorber pressure relative performance ratio and efficiency of your generator let it be from uh, 0 0.5 okay and gener generator pressure uh, uh, concentration and many many parameters you can visualize you can adapt you can send this to that to the figure and remember do remember that your x-axis is your uh, time and you can change this to if you would like to uh, to examine the effect of uh, uh, properties okay if you effect of some parameters such as temperature or, uh, or pressure let's go here white background uh, okay hold shift and uh, um, click on all your figures let's go for x axis and we can change this so our time hours okay and uh, this is power okay you can change your limit your limits you can change your for example you can change uh, the line width thickness okay as you can see here uh, changes the color uh, dotted dashed it, it's up to your uh, uh, design okay so this is this system is running uh, with respect to the time domain if you would like and you can uh, change your result uh, if a, a signal uh, builder parameters or uh, data uh, signal input parameters you can change based on your um, for example here absorber temperature you can control this one you can control this one for example you can doing this uh, drag and drop your signal builder control i to swap it control x to remove this one control v put it here comment it out and uh, uh, you can connect your signal if you would like and control the, the, the temperature inside it based on your uh, real system uh, parameters if you would like uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our models don't forget to like uh, share uh, and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much